A five-year-long nightmare has come to an end for a San Diego mother after she was reunited with her autistic son. Leilani Masumoto's husband kidnapped the couple's two-year-old boy back in 2007 and then, then escaped to Mexico. Tenders reporter John Carroll has the tip that brought the boy home. Awesome. Leilani Masumoto's one-word response on how it feels to be reunited with her seven-year-old son, Keone. The two were ripped apart in July of 2002 when Masumoto's ex-husband, Julio Roca, abducted Keone, just two years old at the time, and took him to Mexico. That day is seared into Masumoto's memory. While I was at work, just it kept nagging me and it just got like butterflies in the stomach, but warm. I kept trying to call his phone. Masamoto says when Roca finally answered, he told her that he was taking Keone to Mexico. He goes, there's no way in hell that I'm going to let you, you know, keep Keone. That led Masamoto to the district attorney's child abduction unit. For the next five years, the team worked to locate Keone. Difficult years for Masamoto. I watched something on TV that showed a little child. It would it remind me of him. I'd just sit there in my room and cry. The team finally got a break a few weeks ago when a girl in the town of Ecatepec saw this wanted poster and recognized Keone as the little boy that lived across the street. He was living with his grandparents. Negotiations to return Keone got underway, and then last week, the joyful moment at Mexico City's airport. This picture is from the airport that day. I was like speechless for like good two, three seconds. And then it was like when I saw him, um, you know, I just started crying. I hugged him, gave him kisses and stuff. Julio Roca is now on the run and Masamoto admits she's worried he might try to take Keone again. But for now, she's overjoyed to be back with her precious Keone. John Carroll, 10 News.